What's goody YTBC? What's good fight fans, boxing heads around the world? Be Marsh with another boxing video. So um this video I'm about to let y'all hear is about um this is basically a controversial decision, you know, another controversial decision, you know, um this was a fight between Sergio Martinez and uh Paul Williams, the first fight, you know. Uh, cause um there was definitely nothing uh controversial about the second fight they fought, you dig? Um so yeah, man, this was a great fight, you know what I mean? This fight, I believe, was in uh, 2009, 2010. I want to say December 2009. This was a fight. I, I remember it was a, definitely a December fight at the end of the year, you know? And um, this was a, a fight of two different clashes of styles, you know? It's a clash of styles, two different styles, two southpaws, though, you know? And, um, you know, the, these were basically the two most avoided guys at 154 pounds, you know what I'm saying? Nobody wanted to fight these guys at 154. It was hard for them to get fights, so um, they decided to fight each other, you know what I mean, at a catch weight of 159 pounds, all right? And, uh, you know, basically Paul Williams was a guy, um, you know, he was 6'2", about a 75 and a half inch reach. Uh, and um, what's his name? Um... Maravilla was about 5'10", you know what I'm saying? You had about a 73-inch reach, you know? So it was about a 2-inch, maybe an inch and a half-inch uh, reach advantage for Paul Williams, you know what I mean? But uh, that basically, the, definitely the man uh, Maravilla was giving up about uh, about 3 to 4 inches in height to Paul Williams, you know? Um, so, you know, this was a great fight, ladies and gents. You know, these two guys, like I said, were most avoided at 154. So they decided to meet each other. You know, how they get to this point, uh, basically the build-up for this fight, you know, the man Maravilla was um, uh, looking for fights. You know, I think he had just fought the guy Kermit Cintron. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Paul Williams was trying negotiating fights, trying to get a fight with Kelly Pavlik, who was the, the lineal NWBC champ at the time, at middleweight. You know what I'm saying? But then uh, they negotiated twice. Um... But nothing came, nothing came of them negotiations, so Paul Williams didn't waste no time. You know, instead of waiting around, he decided to fight the other most avoided guy in the division, and that was uh, Sergio Martinez, you know what I'm saying? So basically, you know, this fight, like I said, man, was a great fight, man. One of the better fights, probably the best fights in both of these guys' careers, you know what I mean? Uh, definitely um, defining fights in their careers, and... Uh, Basically, let's let's get it in. In the first fight, you know, and I'm sorry, in the first round, you know, it was a round, you know, where they were basically filling each other out, you know, um, throwing punches, um, you know, seeing um, who who's going to have the edge. And um, it was a close round at the time up until the man, uh, uh, Paul Williams, drops the man, Sergio Martinez. He drops him with a, with a grazing punch on top of the head, you know what I'm saying? While uh, Sergio Martinez is moving backwards, you know, and uh, he basically lost his balance, and that uh, that's how he dro he got dropped. You know what I mean? It wasn't a punch that hurt Sergio Martinez, you know. It was just uh, he was off balance, you know. And um, right after that, you know, the man uh, Sergio Martinez gets up, he dusts himself off, he proceeds to fight, and before you know it, before the bell rings in the first round, he drops the man Sergio Mart. I'm sorry, Paul Williams. He drops him with a vicious right hook across the jaw. You know what I'm saying? Damn near put Paul Williams through the ropes. <laughs> oh, there goes the punch. Yeah, there goes the punch right there. The grazing punch, if you guys got to see the film. You know what I mean? That dropped uh grazing punch by Paul Williams. That dropped Maravilla. So, you know, um, yeah, so, yeah, Paul Williams gets hurt before that second round. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he gets hurt and... um. Before the first round ends, and he comes in the second round a little, um, he got cobwebs still in his eyes. And, uh, the man Maravilla is taking advantage. He's counter, counter punching this man to death, you know what I'm saying? He's throwing right hooks, you know, and, um, he's hurting the man to the body, throwing body shots, hitting him with angles, with, um, hitting him with left hands, you know, from different angles, you know, countering him to death, and basically, you know, using his foot movement, you know what I mean, he was basically moving superbly in that second round, you know what I mean, and he was looking real good in that second round, um, the third round, the man Sergio Martinez, like I said, he's still proceeding to counter the man to death, you know, he basically can't miss with his right hand, you know, and like I said, these two guys are southpaws, you know, those right hooks are catching Paul Williams flush, you know what I'm saying, and, um, 
you could see the man Paul Williams for whatever reason, like he can't get get out the way of those right hooks by Sergio Martinez. Sergio ain't even barely even using his his left hand in the first couple rounds. You know what I'm saying? You check it, um, cause he's finding a home with the right hand. Um, and uh, the man Paul Williams is still throwing punches in bunches. You know that's how he's keeping himself in the fight. You know, making um the judges have to think twice about what they're watching, whether they like the the cleaner punches by Sergio Martinez or the, you know, basically the the high work rate by by the man Paul Williams, you know what I mean? Um the, in the fourth round, a right hook by Paul Williams hurts the man Sergio Martinez, you know, and uh the man Sergio Martinez still recovers, but um um there yeah, I think we just missed if you got to see it that uh the first the the first knockdown of Paul Williams in the first round. Uh, yeah, so, um, you know, and, uh, the man catches, uh, Paul Williams gets caught by Sergio Martinez with three left crosses, you know what I'm saying, and, um, left hooks, um, and they hurt, and, and, you know what I'm saying, left hooks, but before the, the round ended, the man, uh, Paul Williams, Paul Williams hurts the man, Sir, um, Sergio Martinez with a left hook right before the bell rang, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, as the man goes into the corner, you can see the man Paul Williams is bleeding profusely. There goes the grazing knockdown that put the man um, Sergio down. But anyways, you can see Paul Williams at the end of the fourth round is bleeding. There goes the right hand right across the jaw that puts that man, like I said, damn near through the ropes. Um, yeah, he's the man's bleeding profusely after the fourth round. You know what I'm saying? And that if the 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 cut didn't come from um a punch, it basically came from a headbutt. You know what I mean? I uh, in the fifth round, these two guys are trading punches, man. And um, uh the man uh the man Sergio Martinez is throwing uh right hooks. He threw a right hook followed up by a straight left. You know, and that that particular punch snapped the head back of um. Uh, of Paul Williams, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it is, it is, it's what you like in a fight, you know what I mean? Do you want to see cleaner, cleaner punches or a high work rate, you know what I mean? And uh, for the most part, the man, Sergio Martinez, in my opinion, had the cleaner punches, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but um, in round six, the man, um, Paul Williams, is definitely putting the pressure on the man, um, putting the pressure on the man Sergio Martinez he's walking him down you know what I'm saying he's catching him with left hooks and um he's catching him with flush left hooks and you can see the man Sergio Martinez has less movement in this particular round you know what I mean in round six and uh the momentum now is swinging on the side of uh Paul Williams you know what I mean uh round seven you know the man is setting him up with jabs Paul Williams he's setting up him up with jabs and um, he's throwing hooks to the body and hooks to the head. You know, like I said, now the momentum is picking up on Paul Williams' way because, you know, he's a pressure fighter now at this particular, in this particular round because Sergio Martinez is constantly on his back foot. You know what I mean? In round eight, um, round eight was one probably Sergio Martinez' best round in the fight other than the first round with that knockdown, you know. He's uh, throwing the lead left hand to the pit of the stomach, to the tummy, you know, and these these particular punches, they're not counted as jabs, even though it looks like a jab, because it's a power shot, because, you know, basically every everything other than a jab is a power shot, you know what I'm saying, and um, he was catching him with them, with them lead left hands to the body, and then he's following up with right hands to the top, you know what I mean, to the head, you know what I'm saying, but, um, the man Paul Williams gets caught with another big left hook. And Paul Williams is basically swinging for the fences in this round and missing. You know, and I give credit to Paul, uh, Mart Sergio Martinez for that. You know, that's how I score a fight. You know, basically the man who landed, lands more punches. You know, the guy who makes the guy miss. You know, I, I, I basically defense is, uh, is, is accountable. You know what I'm saying? If a man, if you're making a man miss... And he's throwing many punches and not landing anything. I'll give the guy who's um making the man miss credit, you know what I'm saying? And, of course, ring generalship and these type of things, you know, cutting off the ring. That's how I, uh, basically my criteria for judging fights, you know what I'm saying? In the ninth round, the right hook is landing for Sergio Martinez, you know what I'm saying? 
Paul Williams is 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 fighting. He's throwing the jabs, but he's not following up with the with the left hand that much. You know what I'm saying? But he is controlling the pace for um in a sense with the jabs. You know what I'm saying? But um Sergio Martinez is um he's still getting in there and throwing those hooks. You know what I'm saying? For you know, like I said, Sergio Martinez is also a southpaw. You know, he caught him occasionally with the left hand. But for the most part, it looked like he did a lot of damage with his right hand. You know what I'm saying? Even at the end of the fight, you could go ahead and look at Paul Williams' face, man. His left eye was almost swollen, you know. Not swollen shut, but you could tell he's getting tagged by them hooks that... Them right hooks that, um... And left hands that the man Sergio Martinez was throwing, you know what I mean? Um, in the 10th round, the man, um, Sergio Martinez, um, caught the man, uh... Paul Williams for a few times with some overhand lefts. You know them overhand lefts from a close distance. The man don't get to see him, kind of like how my Marcus Maidana throws him. You don't see him. You check it from close quarters. You can't see that overhand left or right. It depends um, which stance the man is in. You don't see him because, you know, you're in close quarters and them joints was catch, those punches was catching... Um, they were catching the man, Sir, um, uh, Paul Williams, flush, you know what I'm saying? And even they wobbled him in the 10th round, you know what I mean? And like I said, man, the man, Sergio Martinez, definitely had the cleaner shots, you know? Cleaner, more effective shots. In the 11th round, there were cleaner shots still by Paul. Um, uh, and this round, man, this round was it was like basically like a mini war in the 11th round, you know? It was a close round, you know? I can't, you know, it was... Basically, that was a um, one of the very few swing rounds, in my opinion, you know. That, that was a round that could have gone either way, you know what I'm saying. All power shots by both guys. There wasn't no jabbing in, the, in that 11th round, you know what I mean. And um, basically, um, the, the 12th round, another was a fight, was a round where, you know, Sergio Martinez was looking exhausted, you know. I gave the 12th round to Paul Williams. Simply because of the fact, you know, he was a pressure fighter. Sergio Martinez was looking tired. Sure, he wanted to throw punches, was trying. But they were basically arm punches, you know what I'm saying? There weren't nothing with conviction conviction on them, you know what I'm saying? And I gave uh, Paul Williams the 12th round, you know what I mean? So, you know, this fight, like I said, it, you know, it's not quite as controversial as other fights I have uh, that I've called here on YouTube and um, um, controversial decisions. But, you know, this was a, a fight that I had Mara Villa winning. You know, I had Sergio Martinez winning 114 to 113, you know what I'm saying? It would have been 115, 113, but, you know, I, I scored the first round even because they both dropped each other, you know what I'm saying? You know, I thought the man Sergio Martinez landed the cleaner shots. And, you know, Paul Williams was a tall dude, but one thing about him, man, for a tall dude, he didn't fight like a tall guy. You know, he oh, he kind of fought small, you know what I'm saying? Bring himself down to a smaller guy's level, you know? And I think that would have hurt him, you know? That hurt him, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, people always said that uh, Floyd Mayweather ducked Paul Williams, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's I, I really doubt that, you know what I'm saying? And they also say Paul Williams would have beat him. I don't think so, man. All I got to say is Carlos Quintana, you know what I'm saying? So think about that one time, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, the man Maravilla, in my opinion, I, like I said, I thought he won it, you know what I mean? And um, the scores on this... Um, you know the, the they gave the, the the judges gave the decision to Paul Williams a majority the, the decision you know one judge had the fight 119 to 110 in favor of Paul Williams that was a ridiculous score man whoever had that score man he should be investigated and probably should never score a fight again you know what I mean and you know Paul Will and um you know Paul Williams was a guy you know um you know he he you know he, of course his career got halted you know cuz um you know, the man got paralyzed from a motorcycle accident, I believe, in 2012. And he was just about on his way to fight the man Canelo at, in 2012. And I was really looking forward to that fight. That's why the man Canelo went on to fight Jose Cito Lopez, you know what I mean? And uh, the man, uh, Sergio Martinez, after this fight, he got to fight with um, Kelly Pavlik, you know what I'm saying? The, the WBC and the lineal champion. And I believe he was also WBO champion, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he went on to beat him easily in that fight, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Sergio Martinez is one of the longest reigning lineal champions in middleweight history. You know, from 2010 to 2014, he had the lineal strap up until Cotto beat him, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the man Paul Williams, you know, he went on to fight guys like Kermit Citron after that, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, unfortunately for him, you know, and he fought guys like Lara after this, you know what I'm saying, after this particular fight. 
but unfortunately you know his career got cut short by the um because he got paralyzed so ladies and gentlemen fight fans let me know what you think about this fight leave your comments in the comment section hit that thumbs up and please subscribe and let me know who you guys thought won the fight all right be marsh boxing peace